So um, I'll ask you to read a lot right here and to imagine a little bit, to think a little bit, and to dive into nothingness. And then imagine an object in that nothingness which will be significant to you. And that's kind of the situation with negative space, focus objects, and perceptions. That everything is more meaningful when we have less there. So here we go. So yeah, the interruption of negative space. When you are inside of negative space, whether you're looking at something, whether you're in a room, everything is more meaningful than you see, the focus objects. The focus objects end up being the interruption. So basically what you'll find is this is a pathway to clarity. The art installation will be uh, kind of a conceptual exercise where your focus objects, everything is more meaningful and communicative to you as you're, as you're moving along. Our, our problem, I think, a lot in modern society is really what, we have too many things in our lives. So uh, tending to focus on, on the smaller amount of things in our lives, I think it brings more clarity. That's some of the objectives, is to go through an exploratory experience. So how do you define negative space? Um, with a bunch of architects, so they, they should certainly chime in here. Um, it's, it's the space in between any focus object, any space that's blank, empty, dark, in almost any medium. Um, sometimes it's a room, sometimes it's a painting, sometimes it's a drawing. So this is a, a negative space, it's an empty space, it's my favorite space. So if you think about what's here, it's, it's nothing. Right? But this is your mind focusing on something that will come into play sooner or later. So what can we create? Clarity, emptiness, loneliness, balance, harmony, perspective, <coughs> and a perception of depth. All of these things, maybe not all at the same time, but they do happen observing, spending time in negative space. Is negative space a defined space? Well, it depends on your perception. Everything is really about perception. So two people looking at the same negative space may define it, it differently. Is there an exact definition of negative space? I, I don't think so. I think that everyone's mind is different, and that's how you see things. Are we... Uh, you know, we are so busy, we are so have so many things in our lives that I think taking time to, to live in this realm of things is very helpful and useful to our psyche. This is a good example of something, a focus object in negative space. It's one of my paintings. But if this were the only thing in the room, right, you would definitely have a serious attention to this thing. <laughs> what is it in your mind to start to work? Why, you know, why is it this color? Why, why do I think this? So here's something super important, the relationships in negative space. There's negative space and focus objects, there's focus objects and an observer, and there's an observer in negative space. All of these things <coughs> are all entangled with each other. You in that space is very different. Um, entanglement. <coughs> so some scientists may disagree, you know, what definition of entanglement, but if you're looking at an object, prior to that, an abstract object, and it is just sitting there unnoticed, unlooked at. You are now looking at it, and you are forming a relationship with it. Your mind is thinking, what is it? You know, how, how can I do this? You know, how can I define it? Uh, is it like <laughs> Columbia's? If you're in a room and there's no, no focus object, does that focus object say this? If you're in a dark room entirely, and all of a sudden there's light, do you feel better? This is a good example of something that I mean. It's an abstract painting. It means something different to everybody in the room, everybody who views it. Without that, it's pure darkness. But now you're entangled with this because you want to 
feel, you want to know what is it. You, your mind wants to start working. So, um, are we different if we become the interruption in a negative space? Do we perceive things differently? Does our mind work differently within negative space? Most of the time, everybody sees things from their own perspective. But when you are the focus, it's a little bit different. Um, are we the observer, the focus object sometimes? Are we perceived different when people are looking at us when we are being the focus object? Are we entangled, but we don't know? Um, just like the piece of abstract art. It's all very much of a play. It's a very good example. This is an abstract painting. It could mean anything to any number of people on any different days at any different time. And yet, you are focused on it and your mind is working. I feel that you are entangled with that piece of art. Does the effects of negative space extend past the visual experience? Yes. Imagine if you were in a room and a choir was singing and you saw the choir. Now, you were in that same room and you heard the choir but they weren't there, right? You have to somewhat imagine what it's like where they are. That is also an experience. So by exhibit, I'm going to create uh, pieces from 2 inches to 18 feet. They will demonstrate negative space, focus objects. Um, and my focus objects will be made from a variation of things to highlight um, each piece. I, um, I like working with very large pieces. The older that I get, the harder that it gets, but it's fun. Mm -hmm. So um, the, the work will be at, uh, it'll be in March of 2024. I invite you all to come and uh, just focus on social media and people see things. And there's another one too that, again, I'm hoping would be a uh, different meaning.